2009 CST International Moth Class Worlds. This is the first time this event has been in North America since 1976, so it's kind of a big deal for Cascade Locks uh, and for the Columbia Gorge Racing Association. We're proud to welcome 50 moth sailors from all over the world, uh, some of the best sailors in the world. We have America's Cup veterans, we've got Olympic medalists, We've got world champions in several different classes. Everybody here to see who can sail the fastest uh, in the world. The moth class is different than other dinghies because it sails on hydrofoils. It's a small, light dinghy, but it uh, glides up on top of a hydrofoil, and so it's capable of reaching speeds of about 25 or 30 miles an hour. So it makes for good spectating, good competition, and uh, we're looking forward to a great week. When we had the, saw the opportunity to bring such a high profile class as the moths here, we jumped at the chance. It's great, it's flat water and uh, heaps of wind. You, know, you, know, it's, you can't ask for much more than that. And fresh water, it's a big benefit too. Every top level aspect of sailing is represented at, in the moth class, which is a really cool thing to bring all those, all those areas together in one fleet. Uh, the other cool thing is the youth in the fleet. We've got sailors that are uh, 15, 16, 17 competing at this event too and doing well. Um, and so it's, you've got the old guard who are very technical and very talented and you've got the new kids who are really working their way up and thanks to a lot of camaraderie between the sailors they're able to do well in these events. Big events before and like I've sailed against all the guys here before last week and that so it's definitely... It's like a big community. Yeah, yeah you, know, you know everyone and you know each other's styles and it's it's definitely exciting like these boats are just cool enough to sail around by yourself but when you actually start to get racing in them um, yeah it's um, it's pretty intense you know one mistake and you go from first to tenth just like that and 